yeah, we're looking for anybody that can help us. I mean, we've got a lot of, a lot of needs, uh, like most teams, and so we're trying to do our due diligence and making, sh- making sure we know who every one of these players are. And you know, for me, this is just the kind of beginning stages of the, of the personnel evaluations. Obviously, our scouts and our personnel staff have been working on, on this class for several years. Well, we had had a few coaches that had worked with him in Chicago, had had been with him, and, and you know, Dave Rago and Charles London had been with him in, in Chicago, and so his name obviously was up in free agency, and they kind of pitched to Terry and I, hey, this guy, we think he can do a little bit more. Some of the things we dabbled in in Chicago, and so obviously, like I said, we're looking for help anywhere we can get it. And CP did a terrific job and embraced the role and took off from there. Yeah, I do. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I think Ben, uh, you know, I hopefully he, he learned how to take a snap better than he did when I was with him. Um, no, Ben Ben's a terrific coach, terrific person, and he'll do a heck of a job. Sure. Yeah, I think you, you understand where your issues are. Um, obviously, when it deals with protection and you're, you're involved in everything, you've got to work straight, get the play started. So uh, Ben's got a great mind, great football mind, and I've never worked with him professionally, but I've known him for a long time, and, and I'm sure he'll do a, a great job in Detroit. Early on, I'm sure he figured it out. You can ask him about it. Yeah, I mean, we, we have a plan, D-Led, that uh, we feel good about where, our, you know, where we're at with all those guys, and you know we can control what we can control, but if somebody certainly is going to go to free agency, whether we have an offer out for them now or not, I mean, that's their prerogative, and that's what the, the rules set up for, right? I mean, that's what guys fought for, and they go to free agency, and then there's certainly that the market could dictate where they could be out of your price range. Arthur, quick question about your time as the Titans offensive coordinator. Working close, so closely with Ryan Tannehill, I guess maybe what qualities did he, did he have that gave you guys the confidence that – yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to reflect on the Titans. I got enough things we got to worry about. Atlanta. I support the heck of those guys. And we're not playing them, but I'm not going to. I'm just focused on the Atlanta Falcons. I appreciate the question, though. Uh, how much prep work um, have you done on the offensive line that I've been here? Got a general feel of the group that's worked on being here at the combine. We do. Um, obviously, this is like for me. You know, this is. The first time, I mean, some of these guys we saw at the Senior Bowl, but as, as coaches, it's a good opportunity. You know, we'll have our formal interviews and we'll certainly have guys that we will meet with at night, um, some of them in the morning. But so it's just beginning stages to get to know who these, who these players are as people, how they learn. And so it's just part of the process. Yeah, I know D. Led and these uh, guys that cover us locally, they get sick of me saying it, but uh, I, I don't have an update. And so. So, like, as long as that's still up in the air, does that make it any more important to maybe try and talk to Russell Gage? Like, what do you think about him and the speed our coaches He is. Um, like all of our guys that are up for free agency, uh, you know, Russell did a terrific job. You know, he got injured early in the season and came back. I thought he was really productive late in the year and helped us. Right. Yeah, you had to do it by Zoom. Uh, it's good to be back. I mean, it's, it's good to be in person. I, I like being around people and getting to know them. Everybody's got different strategies. I mean, you'll see it throughout the league. It makes it fun. Some teams are here. Some teams aren't from a coaching side. But uh, personally, it, it helps me. I'd like to get to know them. And, and it's like the early stages of it. Just get to put a, a name with a face and, and see who they are as people. Yeah, I don't think you're going to make a snap judgment off a 18-minute speed dating meeting, uh, but I think you look at their body of work, and again, it's just a part of the process. I've seen guys come in there and they light up the room, and they're, um, that's, you know, they can fake it for 18, 20 minutes. I've seen other guys that you know that's not their setting, and you got to look at their body of work. So it's just a small part of it. Well, I, I don't subscribe to a one size fits all. Um, you know, I still believe in due process, and so I just you got to dig into it and don't take it, 
you know, you may hear a story or somebody may have an agenda that they've talked to at the school. And again, you just try to look at somebody's body of work and I'll give people the benefit of the doubt until they prove you wrong. Um, and you just take it case by case. Well, I saw some of them down at the Senior Bowl. Um, like every year, uh, you know, I don't subscribe. I mean, I know it's a great the build up to the drafts are great. Uh, I love the hot takes this time of year. There's always players. There's always good players at every position. There's somebody going to emerge, and a lot of us are going to look stupid because we passed up on so and so. So uh, you do a, due diligence every year, and there's a good group of them. Anything else? All right. Guess I was pretty boring. Certainly, that's you know where, where Matt's at. I mean, I don't. Obviously, we just watched in our division. I mean, Tom Tom played till he was maybe he'll still play. I don't know. Uh, he certainly didn't look his age, and Matt is a lot younger than Tom. And I understand there's only one Tom Brady, but Matt certainly feels good about where he's at. Um, we anticipate Matt being a part of the team, but uh, you know, I think you don't ever back yourself into a corner. Somebody gives you an offer, you can't refuse. I mean, Matt knows how we feel about him, and. I think Matt's got a lot of good football left in him. Well, I think every year. I don't think, certainly you look at the history of the draft, um, and that's at every position. So, you know, you may feel good about your running back room or your receiver room, and somebody may fall that you think is a generational talent. Well, you ought to take them, or you, you make sure you do your due diligence. I mean, I think that's at every position. I think in hindsight, been a part of it where, hey, you think you're set at this position and you passed up on some good players. So I don't think every year that's your charge is to make sure you know this draft. And obviously, uh, you, that's the one thing about the NFL. So it's not like recruiting where you can take 25 really you know, top, top end players at the, you know, that are all first rounders. I mean, you've got to do your due diligence and, and make sure you get the right fit for you. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's every year. Um, you know, we, we certainly have guys, you can find players and you better, you, you can't skip steps because there's really good players that come out of that are undrafted every year. And uh, it's always an open competition. I mean, obviously, you know, on the surface, you know, if you invest in a first early round pick, you know, you know what the salary cap structure is right there. But if a guy's a better player that, that you, that's an undrafted, he's going to play for us. Excuse me, I couldn't really hear you. Depends what the offer is. I mean, like I said, like it's like the old Don Corleone. Like if they give you an offer you can't refuse, I think you got to take it. But that's with every player. I'm sure that somebody, you know, you can ask Terry if somebody wanted to give a bag of balls for me, he may, he may, you know, push push me out the door. So. That's it. All right. Thank you all.